Yeah. Jesus Christ be praised. I noticed some of the Scarlet's men look like they've been in the wars. Has something happened here? There's a local brawler who takes on all comers for bets. If you beat him, you get some silver. If you lose, you have to do his job for him. Oh, I'll have to look into that. I'd like to ask about our former neighbours. There are jobs here for some of them, and I have to pick people. The bailiff told me about it. He still wants our people to do the knacker's job? What of it? It will benefit everyone. Not everyone. There's not enough work for everyone. And no one wants to do the knacker's job. But having a job could save someone's life. Water carrying, maybe. But if they have to do a job that's not fit for a decent person, only for the knacker or the executioner's servant? So you think there's no point in it? That it's better to beg than have a job, even if it is hauling shit? You forget that that's a job for the knacker's hired hand, not for displaced people. When we return to Skelitz, they'll never be able to rid themselves of the stink. So, do you know who's most in need of some coin and is fit for hard work? Everyone's in need of coin, but not everyone is fit for such work. But who should I talk to? Them? Where will I find them? I'll talk to them myself and send them to meet you in front of the rat house, so they'll all be in one place. It'll take me a while, though. I'm also looking for a cook. Do you know of a good cook who's looking for work? Well, there's Agnes. I've heard she can cook better than anyone. Only... Well, what's the problem? Did something happen to her? No, it's just that I haven't seen her around here for ages. I believe she's cooking for the local parish priest and living at the presbytery. So I don't think she's in need of work. Thanks. I'll go. May the Lord watch over you. My respects to you. The bailiff sent me. He said you're looking for a cook. That's right. I'm searching for a good cook. But I've said all that to our esteemed bailiff. Well, I offered the bailiff my help because I know the Scalitz folk. Ah, I see. Well, ask away then. Do you have any particular requirements for the new cook? Well, it would be an advantage if she knew how to cook. Well, yes, but the bailiff said you had other conditions. Well, I want a woman who's capable of looking after the house when I'm away on business. Young? Nimble? What for? I want her to impress people with her food, not her face. I understand. Sorry. I also heard there are vacant carrier jobs. Yes, yes. I'm surprised it hasn't occurred to anyone sooner. It will certainly benefit the city if the burgers don't have to send their own servants. It will benefit my people as well. Of course, of course. It goes without saying. I also heard that you need workers to carry, uh, to empty latrines. It's not dignified to talk of such manners. That's not a concern for decent people. But I need to know... Enough. I won't have such talk in my home. Take care now.
That save you. Do you know if there's anyone around? Aye, there could be something for you. Sir Anish is convening the Ratoy tourney again at the Upper Castle. You can still enroll now, if you think you're good enough. And that's not all. It might not be to your liking, though, on account of it's the executioner who's looking for someone. At least, that's what I've heard. Of course, folk here don't want to have anything to do with him. Only the more they avoid him, the more they gossip about him. Good luck, then. <laughs> Good morning. Are you Agnes, who works at St. James? I am. Or I did, before those devils rolled in and burnt down scallets. Why do you ask? I'm looking for a good cook and housekeeper, and everyone I asked sent me to you. Oh, I've been blessed by God. So it seems. Anyway, the local merchant wants someone who can cook food fit for nobility and take care of his household. Well, Father Francis was very fond of good food, but I can't just go serve someone else. Why not? Because I'm still Father Francis's housekeeper. But I heard he fled and isn't coming back. Don't pay any attention. They're just rumours. I'm still his housekeeper. Where's Father Francis now? I don't know. The last time I saw him, he was going to confession in Sassau. But that was before all these terrible things happened. I've heard no word of him since then. Does he go to Sassau often? Where does he stay when he's there? Not so often. About once a month. He always used to stay in the inn near the monastery, so he wouldn't have far to go. I'll ask around about what happened to Father Francis. I'll let you know. Goodbye. May the Lord watch over you. Greetings, I was just looking for you. What's going on? It's about water carrying again. The blacksmith's son Henry is in charge. He'll hear you out in front of the rack.
vegetables, fresh vegetables. Look, smell, aren't they lovely? God, I never see any of my children in the pillory. The shame of it. I'd have to move to Germany. I'll be with you. Goodbye. I could die of shame to be reduced to begging. But what am I to do, good folk? Scallops, lies, and issues. Let it bake a bit and you'll be able to feed the whole fat. Good afternoon. Thank you a hundredfold. You have a good heart. I've lost everything. My home, my family, my life. God be with you. Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was on account of our silver and how Sir Radzig sided the king. You're one of the people interested in work? Well, Alex told me that I'm supposed to ask about a job carrying water. That's right. But first, I'll ask you a few questions. You are... Peter. But everyone calls me Rock. There was more than enough Peters in the mines, and not just in the mines. So... The bailiff said he couldn't get a word out of you. Well, he's not the most popular man around here, after everything that's happened. You can't blame us. Maybe, but if you lot had just talked to him, I wouldn't have to run around dealing with this, and you'd all have a few groshen by now. You might be right. But there's no point crying over spilt. At the mines? So you're a miner? That's right. I worked in the East Shaft, and I hope I'll be working there again. Now that I think of it, have you heard anything from that old ships? When will they open the mines again? I have no idea what their lordships plan to do about it. All right. I just thought you might have heard something. How badly do you want to carry water? Well, right now there doesn't seem to be much work around for miners. And at least I can earn a few groschen. It's not easy work, though. It's a long way to carry water. Do you think it was easier in the mines? Digging through rock on your knees all day for months on end? How are you holding up? You mean this here? Well, I've got feeling back in my arm again. What happened to it, anyway? 
that time in Scalis. I was knocked down by a horse, but it's better now. But can you handle carrying water? It's no easy matter. Sure I can. Like I said, my arm's fine. There's one more option. Carrying shit. What? For the knacker? It's a job. But what would people say? I need money badly, but I couldn't go back to mining after that. But it would be twice the pay. The money would help, true enough. What about afterwards? I don't want to be carrying shit all my life. Now, it won't come to that. Sir Radzik will surely take care of things when he returns home. He won't forget the sacrifice you make. I'm glad to hear that. If that's how it is, I'll even carry shit. What would you give if I put in a good word for you? Good word? Sure. If I put in a good word for somebody to the bailiff, then that someone has a... a better... Uh, I, I heard about it at the mo I'm not interested in rumors. But I really don't have any... Then don't be... But that's... That's enough for now. God be with you. Good day to you. Are you here on account of the water carrying? Yes, I am. My name is Vincent. Nice to meet you. I'll ask a few questions and we'll see. All right? Fine. I'll ask away. How are you holding up? Well, I'm alive. But I miss my father. And the farm, too. But Ma says there's no use dwelling on it. Life must go on. What happened with Bailiff? He couldn't get a word out of anybody. I, I don't know. I didn't talk to him at all. What did you do before this? I worked for my father. Doing what? Who's your father, anyway? He's... He was Moimia. We had a farm near Scarlet. Really? His farmhands came to the tavern a lot, but I never saw you there. Uh, I don't go to taverns. So you're probably here about carrying water, right? Aye. I want to carry what? That's all. You've nothing more to add? That's what's needed, ain't it? That's enough for now. Take care now. God be with you. You're interested in carrying water? I am. It's about time something good came to decent folk. I agree. Now, I'll ask you a few questions. What? But I want the work and I deserve it. Keep your questions for good-for-nothings. How are you holding up in Ratai? Not too well. I've tried offering my administrative abilities at the Rat House. But the bailiff treats me like a peasant. He's not an easy man to deal with, true enough. But if you show him what you're capable of... Well, if he gives you a chance to show him... What makes you so deserving? How did you make a living before this? I was the owner of a mine. Well, I had a lease on it. But in our line of work, it amounts to the same thing. The chief, eh? But have you ever hauled a bucket of ore up a hill? There's no hill in a mine. 
Just a shaft with a winch. But the bailiff complained he couldn't get a word out of you. I refused to talk to him. Last time I did, he was vulgar, shouted and threatened to whip me. And then he comes and interrogates me. Well, I can't see how that would put you off him. It's hard work carrying water. So is taking care of a mine. It's not quite the same thing, is it? You need brawn to carry water, not brains. I wasn't born a mine owner, you know. I've done my share of hauling. There's also the option of, um, emptying latrines. Are you trying to insult me? That's no job for a decent Christian. True. That's why it pays double. Double, hey? Well, that's not bad, not bad. But, uh, for a man of my stature, no doubt there are more needy souls. Hmm. Double. Hmm. That's enough for now. Good luck to you. God be with you, good sir. You're here about the water, Caroline. Ah, where do I get some pails? Hold your horses. We haven't decided yet who gets the job. I have to ask you a few things first. What for? I can handle the job. But ask away. What trade did you do before? I worked in the mines, at the winch. You've heard of Tonda the winch, right? Strong as a bull. Ah, the name sounds familiar. You were one of the new miners, weren't you? I was. I came last autumn. The winch was mild enough to work the mines, and I showed everyone I was a hard worker. So I get the job. Uh, we're not finished yet. Well, uh, there's also the option of carrying, um, shit. Not a chance. I'm not carrying any shit around. And if anyone tries to make me, I'll break his legs. And what if I told you that you get double the pay? Didn't I mention something about breaking legs? You, you, you did, but more money. I wouldn't be Tonda the winch anymore. More like Tonda the stench. I heard you lot don't want to talk to the bailiff. I don't know much about that. The others didn't talk to him, so I kept my mouth shut as well. That's the way we do it at the mines. He didn't even really ask me anything anyway. Just mumbled something under his breath. I know everything I need. So, can I go carry water then? Not yet. I'll tell the bailiff and he'll choose. Well... I hope he cheeses me. Otherwise, I might be very angry. If you think I'm afraid of you, you're mistaken. We'll see. Farewell. God be with you. You're just going to pretend I'm not here. You hear about the water, Carrion? Aye. I can hold water all day long. So, do you want the job? 
There's plenty of other folk that will take it if you don't. I do. I want it. What do I have to do? So tell me, what was your trade before? I was a miner, then a farm laborer, then I was a servant, then I fled from Scullitz and ended up here. Quite the fat totem, aren't you? Was none of those jobs good enough for you? Uh, I liked them all. But they were always sending me to do something else. Pickman, they'd say. Leave this and go and do that. Right, I see. What happened with the baby? He couldn't get a word out of anybody. That peacock, what was strutting up and down and shouting at everyone? He told me he'd no time to listen to a buffoon like me. So I shut my mouth. So you're keen on carrying water? I've been keen on it since I got up this morning. And you had another job before this morning, or what? No, no. I was just joking. Are you just going to pretend I'm not here? Besides water, you could carry... Uh, you could empty latrines. What? Carry shit? <laughs> That'd be a new one for me. No, it's not a thing I'd go around boasting about. That's enough for now. So, we're agreed then? When do I start working? Look, the bailiff is the one who'll decide after I report back to him. So, I might not get the job? I'll be in the shit if I don't. Understand? Take care now. Not talking to me? Good afternoon. What do you want? I want to work, and I heard you're the one in charge of giving out jobs, not the bailiff. It's true. Do you know how to cook? If you know how to make food for nobles, then I might have something for you. Where would I learn to cook food for nobles? I want to carry water. But Alex has already picked people who want to carry water. He didn't ask me though, so I came here myself. Be that as it may, I already have the people I need to carry water. And anyway, it's no job for a woman. I'm strong enough to knock you on your arse, you pot. Goodbye. He's dying. He's badly wounded. So poorly he's been in his bed for weeks. Unconscious most of the time. Sorry to hear it. I already owe the apothecary a small fortune. And he won't lift a finger for us now. What did you do in Scalitz? I was at the silverworks, roasting the ore and washing it. My husband was at the smelter. Oh, Christ. Things got very ugly there. I suppose that's where your husband was wounded? It's a miracle you managed to drag him all the way to Ratai. What else could I do? Leave him there? Well, if you know how to cook fine food, I could get you a job at the merchant's house. You'd have a nice roof over your head there, too. All I've ever cooked is gruel and soup. Nothing fit for nobles. A roof would be grand, though. Not so much for me, but for my husband. Is there any way you could arrange it? No. Not unless I lied about your cooking skills. But he'd find out soon enough, and then we'd both be in trouble. All right. I'll think about it and talk to the bailiff. And you'll tell him to take me, right? 
May the Lord watch over you. God be with you. I know everything I need to know to pick the carriers. Splendid. I'll be glad to get this damn business off my back. So how have you decided? So, how do we do this? Do I just give you their names or should I send for them? Just tell me their names and whether they should carry water or something else. Don't worry, I'll send for them. Tonda. They call him the Winch. The Winch? Not to be good with a bucket anyway. What's he going to do? Carrying shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. Vasim goes by the moniker of Pikmin. Pikmin? I hope he doesn't have a history of pickpocketing. No, no. They call him Pikmin because he worked in the silver mines, and he was very keen with the pick. So much so, he managed to chop off two of his fingers. Well, he can't do too much damage with a bucket, I suppose. Where do you want to put him? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Cornelius. Ah, Cornelius. I had him here once looking for a job. Where do you want to put him? I'd like to see him with buckets of shit. Carrying shit. Good. One person for this job. Next. Vincent. Moimirsa. Vincent? Never heard of him. What do you think he should do? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? Peter, better known as Rock. Peter? Rock? Didn't he get into a fight and injure his arm? Well, what should he do? To carry water. So we have one person to carry water. Who's next? That's it. Good. All decided. Now about the cook's job. I'd like to talk to you again about that job. What kind of work are we talking about? Well, old Hagen is looking for a cook, and we need three, actually five, carriers. A cook and five water carriers? That sounds simple enough. Is there a problem? A little. We need three water carriers, but the other two will have to carry... Begging your pardon. That's all I need to know. Good luck, then. Take care.
introduced to this. I'm from Scullitz and, well, you know. Yeah.
Thank you for the dress, Henry. It's really lovely. Jesus Christ be praised. What are you hanging around for? Don't you have any work to do? No, I don't. Sigismund's marauders took everything I had and reduced me to beggary. What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. Only, I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. And since then, I can't even set foot on the square without the catchpoles pouncing on me. So you're a pickpocket? All right, get to the point. But keep your hands where I can see them. My honestly begged Russian were taken from me by that bastard of a guard, Pazdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well, if you can get them from his pocket back into mine, where they rightfully belong, I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. What do you say? All right, I reckon I can manage that. How much coin are we talking about? Everything he has on him. Half is yours. Hmm, it all sounds a bit fishy. Well, take it or leave it. But if you get my money back from Pazdera the guard, I'm sure I can put some more work your way. Here's your Groshen. I followed you for a while and I didn't see you rob no one. But suit yourself. Coin is coin. I'll give you some of the Groshen back, like I promised. And I've got another job for you. What's this other job then? Everywhere you go here, you see wretches like me. Poor souls they don't have a pot to piss in and have to beg. Then take a look and rat eye it all. Arms for everyone. <laughs> that would be quite a purse. But I'll see what I can do. That's the spirit. In return, I'll teach you something useful, and you'll get a share too, of course. God be with you. But I'm reduced to this. Fresh from the oven. Come and get them. 